What is up, everybody? Welcome into this Tuesday episode of Flippin' Bats, where, surprise, Alex and I are still filming <laughs> down in San Diego. Today we're going to talk one up, one down. Fernando Tatis is incredible and one of the most exciting if not the most exciting entertainer the game of baseball has ever seen i got to talk all about him one up one down we got honesty hour we have buying or selling this one is going to be a blast let's get to it it's a blowout eighth inning 10-3 bases are loaded for verlander who waits out of the real man swings and it's a high fly ball deep center field it is gone home run and a huge bat flip to celebrate all right ben start the show already what is up my friends happy tuesday where if you listen to the monday episode you were entertained because there was a high school home run derby going on right behind us well guess what it's still happening there's still a high school I'm home so run derby out. going on right behind <laughs> us and there are some kids launching balls into the western metal supply company building so uh lefties can certainly get it here it's just a matter of will they how far out and are we will in center field because we're, we're kind of on like a deck in center field um a viewing deck i i would say for a baseball to hit us yeah it would have to travel 430 feet is my prediction, which not impossible, uh -huh. but it's not super likely. I'm getting reaction from our whole crew that's actually watching the field behind us, and it looks and sounds like there's a couple guys hitting that might be able to hit it to us. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. yeah, if you so hear any screams, it's me. Be prepared. That is what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Like we said, we're just doing the show with a little bit of fear. Me. I, I do better. I do better okay. with fear. I dig that. Well, guess what? We have a big series starting tonight, an AL East showdown. The Rays and the Orioles get I'm, things started tonight. I'm excited about this series. The Orioles have been one of the best teams in baseball all year long. The Rays have been the best team in yep. baseball all year long. This is going to be another. The first time we got this matchup in Camden Yards was awesome. A great three-game series between the two of those teams. Orioles end up taking them down at home. What's going to happen here? I don't know, but uh, yeah. I'm excited to watch and then talk about it when it happens. I know. Both <laughs> teams are rolling, and the Orioles are only five and a half games behind the Rays right now. So it, especially when there's these division rival matchup games, you can really gain some serious ground when this is happening. And I, I talked to Smoltz on Saturday about the yeah. Baltimore Orioles, and does this team have the ability to potentially, you know, finish a, the, o, over the Yankees and over the Jays in the division? And he said he has a, they have every bit of a chance wow. to win the AL East. So uh, if you haven't listened, always listen. Saturday Saturday with Smoltz comes out every Saturday. But this one, we talked a lot about the O's. I like that. I like that both these teams are on the up, too, which leads us to our one up, one down. We're going to get started on the high. Ben, who is your up this week? Alex, my one up is Fernando Tatis Jr. Mm -hmm. He is the most electric player in the game of baseball let me just let me just paint you a picture okay. of what i experienced here i'll just i'll just talk about sunday what we experienced the guy playing right field now yep. and is one of the best right fielders defensively in the game of baseball after switching position the guy runs out to right field it's like he's it's like he's a wwe wrestler coming out of the tunnel like performing <laughs> it was electric taking the field he's pumping up the crowd this is before this is as the game is starting then his first at bat he gets hit gets uh -huh. on base immediately steals second base there's a point in the game in which they made an error trying to get him at second he scored from second came all the way around ran right through a stop sign celebrated at home plate like he had just hit a walk-off grand slam yep. pumps up the crowd he's an entertainer in every sense of the word constantly we were actually um we were actually sitting out here in right field for yep. some of the game on sunday just kind of taking in the fernando tatis jr experience yep. is what i would say all game long every inning every few pitches he'll turn around he'll acknowledge he'll acknowledge the crowd they're great with him whenever he does anything mm -hmm. they let him hear it he gives it right back to them uh there's a baseball oh. sorry my oh. oh it bounced it almost bounced to us sorry my friend nick has no sense of depth and thought the, thought the ball was coming 430 uh, feet when it went and it bounced and the bounce almost came up yeah to yeah us. um fernando tatis is electric it's an experience i I could go on forever about this, but I, there was at one point I was sitting out in right field. I hope people understand this and appreciate this, and I, I hope people try to do this. Okay. 
Fernando Tatis at one point in right field was standing up, yep. and there was like a pitching change or something. He went to sit down without without using his hands. He sat down straight up crisscross applesauce, <laughs> sits down, and without using his hands again, stands up out of that position. So just to clarify, and I want everybody listening to try this, start standing up, sit down crisscross style, and stand up without using your hands. That's the what he Tatis did. The Tatis Challenge. The You're going to do challenge. it right now. Come on. No, right I can't, over here. I, I want to see you do it. You I, said you wanted everyone at home to do it. I, you have to do I already, it right now. I've already tried I, it. It doesn't matter. we got to see it live right okay, now. Go. Out. Okay. You can't tell other people to do it and not do it yourself. Is this, the Tatis Challenge. Me. There is. Let's see if you can do How it. How did he do it? Did he start? Like... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got okay. down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The athlete. I am Fernando Tatis <laughs> Jr. <laughs> it is not easy. Okay. Though I kind of just disproved my entire point that I was going on about how impressive it is, where I haven't played baseball in five years, I haven't been to a gym in months, and I just get out. down and do it. But still, it was yep. cool to see. And then late in the game, yep. the Sunday game was honestly a very, very good and entertaining baseball game. 5-4 final throws an absolute rocket yep. from right field to get the would-be tying run at home. The crowd goes nuts. He's firing up the crowd. He threw it so hard he fell down. I will – you need to watch Fernando Tatis play baseball in person. It is mm -hmm. entertaining. It is an experience, and I love the Fernando Tatis experience. He is my one-up. I love that, and I love the, the Tatis challenge. Way to go. It, it's not easy. Way to go. If you're listening or watching at home, will you try this, please? Take a video and tag <laughs> us at Flippin' Bats Pod so we can see it and share it because I'm actually kind of curious. I'll, I'll try once I'm home because I'm in a dress. I'm not going to do it right now, obviously. Well, so, no. <laughs> no, okay. I mean, <laughs> not going to happen. Entertainment. No, Ben, stop. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to mine, right? Yes, who's your okay. one up? My one up this week is Shohei Otani. He was both of our players yep. of the week. Hands down, he is having one of the most historic weeks we have ever seen. He has hit six home runs in the last seven games. He is leading the league in home runs with 24. 11 of those have gone over 420 feet. And he also leads the Angels in almost every statistical category, both on offense and at the pitching. He leads in runs, hits, home runs, walks, RBIs, stolen bases, OPB slugging, OPS wins, ERA, <laughs> and the Angels are finally making a push for a playoff spot. They are second in the AL, in the AL West right now, just behind Texas. Made it in my power rankings this week. Made it in your power rankings. They have the seventh best record in baseball at the moment. Angels are making a little sneak attack, and I am so happy for them, and I am so happy for Shohei Otani. It is so funny alex to look at if you go to stat pages or to yeah. look up mlb team stats every single major category yeah. is led by shohei otani except for saves he's obviously not a because he's not a closer every yeah. single one yes. offensively pitching it's it is remarkable it's incredible. yeah he's my up this week okay let's move to our downs who you got i got the kansas city royals Ooh. and you know why? why? Obviously, the Royals haven't been good. That's not just the talking point here. Yeah. The Oakland A's have been getting all of the negative energy from people this year. And I was the Oakland A's, they had that winning streak. Oh, they looked yeah. kind of good for okay. like a week there. But everyone was talking about how bad the Oakland A's are because of everything going on there and the move and the ownership. The team is awful. Guess what? The Kansas City Royals have the exact same number of wins as the Oakland A's. 19. Uh, it's June. Brutal. It's the middle of June, and the Royals are 19 and 52 entering the new week. Uh, that is bad. I am down on the Royals. I'm also I'm down on the future of the Royals. I was talking okay. to producer Bartlett, who's a noted Kansas City Royals Fanatic. Fan, fanatic, he's extremely biased. <laughs> and we were talking about the Royals, and he was saying there's really not a ton of hope going for. You know, Bobby Witt Jr. is awesome. Yeah. I like Bobby Witt a lot. But Benny Pasquantino gets hurt. He's going down for the year. There's really not, like, 
You know, with these teams that are really good right now, the Orioles, the D-backs, the writing yeah. has been on the wall for a couple of years. Exciting young talent. I don't, I don't look at the Kansas City Royals and think, oh, they're a few years away. So yeah. I am down on the Kansas City Royals. That's fair. I also don't think I thought, like, okay, A's are – worst team in baseball they had their own category when we were doing the tiers of worst teams in yeah. baseball i don't think i realized royals were like right on their same coattails i need i will keep the very bottom tier the yeah. oakland a's but i will put the kansas city royals in the oakland oh, a's tier okay so the Yikes. very you know elite to yeah. not great to oakland a's and yeah. it's the royals are in, in the oakland All a's right. that's fair so they're my down who's your down my down this week are the New York Yankees. Mm. They have lost or split their last four series. It has been a tough stretch for them since losing Aaron Judge with that toe injury when he was in L.A. at Dodger Stadium. And this weekend it was announced that he had another setback, another PRP injection in his toe. So we don't know how far we almost had another. <laughs> that ball, had now another. that ball ended close. Speaking of home <laughs> runs, talking about Aaron Judge, that's actually, that would have been perfect timing and a little ironic. All of your faces completely freaked me out. <laughs> okay, reset, Curry. You're going to be okay. But it's tough for the Yankees. Is it coming? Okay. Literally talking about. <laughs> this is great. Okay, you got this. everything's going to be okay. I'm just going to I'm going to talk about the Yankees, but I'm also going to watch everyone's facial reaction here. Hopefully, who is okay. Barry Bonds hitting behind us? What is know. happening? Te oh, okay. Terrifying. Okay. But besides not having Aaron Judge, obviously the best player on their team, the defense has been sloppy. Take Friday's game in Boston losing 15 to 5. Domingo Germán got crushed season high, giving up yeah. season high seven earned runs. Also the shortest start of his big league career, only going two-plus innings. They're just in a really tough stretch right now. So I am down on the Yankees. All right. Yeah, I agree. So that's one up, one down. That's one up, one down. So let's now get some – let's get in the trust tree. Oh, Alex. Let's, let's hop on in the trust tree. Honesty hour time. What are we talking it's about? It's honesty hour. And I am interested in your opinion here, as okay. I always am. I'm always yeah. interested in your opinion. Thank you. Always. I'll but like that. especially for Honesty Hour, let's hop on in the trust tree and talk about Petco Park yeah. being the best fan experience Ooh. in baseball, in all of baseball. I could get into that. Now, I put Petco Park in my top three baseball stadiums. Mm -hmm. I think Petco Park for me is, it's right there, like Oracle, but I haven't been in a while. It's right okay. there, like the one or two area. Yeah. So great ballpark. But this is more than just a great ballpark. The entire experience here, I am in love with this place. There's a sandbox out in the outfield. We're doing yeah. this show right next to Gallagher Square where there were 44,000 people here on Sunday. And half of them, I felt like, were sitting out here in Gallagher Square. Which, just to explain what Gallagher Square is, it's a big grassy hill that mm -hmm. sits beyond you know it's way it's way far away but it's beyond like deep right center field mm -hmm. you can just sit on the hill and watch the san diego padres play baseball on a beautiful day they also it, have it the game and the broadcast on the big screen on so a they big have screen. a giant stage that faces the grassy hill there's so there's more different types of beer at this stadium than yeah. any ballpark in America. There's great music the always. Food is the amazing. vibe, the fans have been incredible. Every single game that we were at this series was mm -hmm. sold out. The 28th, 26th, 27th and 28th sellout of the season for the Padres, which is already the most they have ever had in a season. It's the middle of June. Mm -hmm. These fans are loud. Every single is loud. This has been an awesome experience being here. I already talked about him a little bit, or a lot. Part of this Petco Park experience is getting to see Fernando Tatis Jr. play baseball. It yeah. is legitimately part of coming here for this experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, so hopping in the trust tree today, I was just thinking about it. Best fan experience in baseball is right here at Petco Park. I could get into that because you're also right in the heart of the Gas Lamp District, which is right downtown San Diego. The ocean is just a couple blocks away. You have, you really feel like you're in the middle of the city because there's all these high rises kind of surrounding the stadium. I like that. I'm yeah. into that. I, yeah. I was also like every everybody knows the history of the city so well. I was mm -hmm. walking by and somebody said, "You remember Alex Curry played soccer here and." That's, I really get that feel when I walk into the stadium that you're in the presence of greatness. 
So you get that feel too. I'll take it. I told you it was like it's one of my top three favorite teams and places. So <laughs> I, you're allowed to have three favorite teams. But then. it can't be the Padres and the Dodgers. But it's different because I have personal experiences to all of these teams. I grew up. With season tickets to the Dodgers, I went to school at San Diego State, so I came to Padres games, and then I worked for the Angels for 10 years. Well, I'm allowed to be a fan of all Just because games. you went to school? So I went to school in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm not a diehard fan of the Norfolk Tides. Different. Is it? Yeah. Well, maybe a little bit. Uh-huh. I just, uh-huh. look, we'll move on. I, 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 yeah. I really struggle mm-hmm. with somebody being a Padres and Dodgers fan. It's like being a if Yankees and Red each Sox other, fan. I'm going to pick the Dodgers. I'm a Dodgers fan. I enjoy I'm getting being heated. at Petco Park and watching the Padres on. play. You agree with my honesty hour? I do. Okay. It's a good one. It is. It's, it's, it's the best. Okay. Now, we have a new game for you that we're going to play. Okay. Buying or selling? Okay. Let me explain it to you. Now, you're think of it like these teams are a stock. Okay? Do you think the teams that are down will come back up? If so. Why? <laughs> Explain why. <laughs> All right. So if you think the teams that are up will come back down to earth, you, you probably want to sell them while they're high, right, to yeah. get the most most value, most bang for your buck. Now, if you think the teams that are down will come back up, you want to buy them when they're low because that's going to be better for your stock. Are you yeah, ready? So I, buying or selling teams? I, yeah, yeah, I got it. You got it? I get it. Okay. So we're starting with the Mets. Are yeah. you buying or selling? <laughs> I mean, the nature of this game, if yeah. you will, I would be – dumb to sell the Mets as low as they are right now. So okay. I will I will buy the New York Mets. Okay. They've lost seven of their last ten games entering the new week. Brutal. They're not playing good baseball. I don't believe this team can get worse than they are right now. How this team has spent more money on the team. Not that this not that this means success on the field because we clearly see yeah, that it doesn't. Money does not buy but you they wins. are a talented baseball team and at some point they just have to figure it out. Pete Alonso has come back after being out for a couple of weeks with his injury, so he's now back in the lineup. That'll have to be a bump for this team. Uh, Justin threw really well against the Yankees. He did. So the pitching staff is starting to get a little healthier. Jose Quintana coming back. So I'm I'm going to buy. I'm not completely out on the Mets this year, but it's not. it has not been good. Okay. I mean, they could stay like this they might not get worse but they could stay the struggling mess then i'm not losing money if they That's just st- you know like. okay let's move on to our next team the dodgers are you buying or selling i i thought i would i think i have sunscreen in my eye are you, are you i am okay? in, i think i'm about to be in full-blown tears oh, here this is good we had fear now we're having sadness well let's not keep so, it going. it's I an am. emotional show we're in san diego we're sad we're leaving but we're also it's excited right. let's, we're going let's to a new keep going i will push through this, this flu game Jordan flu game, Ben sunscreen pod. I can't. Just stop. Okay, the Dodgers. Are you buying or Dodgers. selling? Dodgers. I'm selling the Dodgers. I've, they have not played good lately. Um, get swept by the San Francisco Giants. I I am really worried about their pitching. They have no bullpen. Their pitching has been not good. Walker Bueller obviously out for the year. Julio Urias hasn't pitched. Kershaw's been consistent old Kershaw. But other than yeah. that, pitching has been downright awful bullpen abysmal they don't have anybody they can turn to at the back end of the bullpen when that gives me confidence when they come in they're blowing so many late leads i am down big time on the dodgers i am i am selling selling all get right. rid of the stock all right flipping stocks there you go let's move on to our last team okay the giants buy you buying or selling buy buy i'm big time buying this team Really? They've been playing great. They've swept consecutive series against the Cardinals, the Dodgers. They're now in second place in the NL West, three and a half games behind the D-backs, the fighting snakes, Slytherin snakes. The sneaky snakes. The sneaky snakes. They've been playing great <laughs> baseball. They're pitching very well. They're doing enough offensively. And the name of the game of baseball is if you do enough offensively and you yeah. score more than the other team, you're going to win a lot of games. And that's what they're doing right now. They're winning a lot of baseball games. I'm buying. I'm buying the Giants. And you think they're consistently going to keep this up throughout the rest of the season? I don't think they win okay. the NL West. But that's a good question. Yeah. Would I buy if I don't think they win the division? I think they are I think they could be a playoff team. Okay. I think they have to do something at the trade deadline. But I'm buying I'm buying what the Giants are putting down right now. It's been it's been a great stretch of games. They're really good. Uh, so I will buy. All right. That wraps up buying or selling.
that wraps up buying or selling. And does that wrap up our It does our wrap Tuesday up our Tuesday show. show and our time here in San Diego. By the way, yeah? Home Run Derby just wrapped up. Yeah. MJ Sweeney won Is that the Home Run Derby. Who almost he almost hit us. Got us. He's the son of Mike Sweeney. He's six Makes foot sense. seven. Whoa. The guy is a enormous, and he almost hit us out here. So shout out, MJ Congratulations. Sweeney. Thank you for not hitting us, but congratulations on winning the I'm Home Run disappointed. Derby. I would have liked to see We already had a mini freak out, hit. almost like <laughs> while I was talking about my up and the or my down on the Yankees and Aaron Judge, last year's Home Run King. I'm down on sunscreen. <laughs> Because I, I am really struggling with this. Was this a ball that was hit? No way. This was a ball that was hit up that, here? Yeah, that hit bounced right here and almost bounced up. Wow. To our set. Well, these kids are hitting Major League Baseball, which helps with their pop. But Yeah. This is great. Yeah. We didn't get hit. That's a win. We had a blast in San Diego. We That's had a win. A blast. You know what? Too we much should fun. just move. we should do every show on the from road. San Diego. This has been Team, a can blast. We, can we go on the road all the time? Yeah, maybe we got thumbs up. <laughs> see if we get approval uh, for that. Thank you all for listening. Uh, there will be the this week in Shohei Otani news. What a week it was. We'll come out as a separate episode on Tuesday as in well. In the new episode in our new studio. In our new studio, it's going to yeah. be our first ever episode from our brand new fully remodeled refurbished so studio excited. that'll come out uh, later in the day on tuesday so this has been a blast of a trip it is i my cup is full that's I how i like to say I don't does know that fill that your cup well i like to surround myself with things that like fill my cup make me feel happy make me feel whole and this weekend and our experience here in san diego and with the padres filled my cup all the way up i am happy i am full my heart is full thank you everybody for coming along for this journey are you making fun of me it's just so cheesy it's what i'm cheesy let's take our I full cups it. back to la because okay. that's where we're going with all full right. cups and thank full you. hearts yes we are <laughs> this is so cheesy all right we're done thank you all for listening make sure you subscribe anywhere you listen to your podcast apple spotify wherever we're also on all social media twitter instagram facebook tiktok it's all and we're happening on, YouTube on all the socials <laughs> at flipping back spot for all of them Thank you all for listening. Thanks again to the San Diego Padres for this awesome, awesome experience, and I hope you all have appreciated everything along the way. Until next time, my friends, peace.